live from Main and Gervais. Guys, in its 100-year or so history, Fort Jackson, the largest basic training installation on the planet, has been led by 51 men. And the latest general to serve in that post, after nearly 20 years of service all over the world, is back home, so to say. Interim native Brigadier General Milford Beagle Jr. Biggs, is that like Biggs? Is that Biggs. what they call you? Biggs. Yeah, I'm going to stick with morning. General. <laughs> you assumed uh, command about what? Three weeks ago, Fort yeah, right, Jackson. Right, 22 June. So what, what does that mean? You're the commander. What, what, what is that? You're like the president of the base, right? Yeah, well, the easiest way to equate it, you know, in civilian terms is you're, you're CEO. So like the CEO of Amazon, right. Google, you name it, you're, you're kind of in that seat. So spotlight's on you. Now, you didn't go to Fort Jackson for basic training. You took a different route to the officer no, path. No, Benning. Fort right. Benning is kind of, you know, right. my route as an infantry officer, ranger, you, you go the Benning route. So sure. Yeah. So 20 years ago, give or take, somebody says, son, you're going to go see the world. You see the world and you end up having to work here in your home state. You ain't seen much of the world. You're from South Carolina. <laughs> well, well, they got it in me. You know, got it out of me early on. So they, right. they sent me west around the globe and then kind of circled back. So sure. it's good to, you know, get back here, you know, after 28 years, right. you know, come back home. You know, I was here a couple of years ago commanded a brigade at Fort Jackson, never thought we'd come back, and we were blessed at that point, but sure. to come back and then command a base is pretty awesome. Tell me about your family. Tell us you know, about you. We all know yeah. you're the general, and people salute you, and you get driven around yeah. sometimes. So, <laughs> Tell me about you. so in the house, I've got one person that calls me sir, and it's not it's not the spouse, of course. My, <laughs> my oldest son is a second lieutenant. He's an infantry officer as well, so he's at Fort Benning right now. Our, our youngest is, you know, finished up a year in school in New York, the wife, right. and then I've got another boss in the house, a little chihuahua. So last name is Beagle, but we have a chihuahua. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. We have just a, just a couple of seconds left. What, is, what are your initial footprints going to be on the fort? I know every general comes in, every CEO comes in with an idea of this is what I think we need to do and we need to take this, this amazing installation. Yeah. No, well, not, none of my views are really short term. It's always about the long game, you know, and, right. staying, and staying relevant. And that's what Fort Jackson has done over 100 years with the community, you know, what we do, the training, keeping the soldiers relevant. And it's, we train today, but they're relevant for tomorrow. I mean, we sure. never know what's going to come up. And the one thing for sure that we know is the future is going to be unknown. So training soldiers for the unknown, educating them for the unknown is what we've got to do. We've just got to do it better. And that's the key thing I have to figure out. And then keeping the close ties that we've got with Columbia, the Midlands, and for me, South Carolina. Sure. I mean, I want everybody to know what's in their backyard. And that gym that we have called Fort Jackson, it's America's Army. We're your army. So I want everybody in the state to know We've got something special here, and we've got a very special relationship on top of that. General Beagle, the new commanding general of the 51st, as a matter of fact, of Fort Jackson. My brother, thank you. Welcome back home, I guess. I can say welcome to Columbia, but welcome home anyway. Right. And uh, it's great stuff. We appreciate your service to the country and, and all those brave men and women that you train every single day. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We're coming back.